Hi, this is Emily Young reading my poem, Opioid, Alcohol, Despair. One, feel for your lying there. How could I fail a man lying there? Poor guy lies there. There's nowhere to go. He can barely lift his limbs. Moreover, his core contracted. You can't see it has fallen into the asphalt X marked there. His early burial there, no. Though some nights, I would think, his brain awakens to a sound of commiseration, destination, as to a hymn, a moment stretching itself, though not a mirror cracking, faces in a progression of shame, of the same self-loathing. How could it not now be him? And I know it's wrong to stare at blank gaze, worse, to shut out the gaze. Maybe next time I might not pass on to the other side, might even give him a five. Dollar bill or an apple or a handful of quarters, dimes, how could he buy vodka with that? So that he can sleep, piss, not in public maybe, next time, throw in a throw blanket, so that I, can sleep, walk on, too. And this is the way it happens, some wintry descent out of the blue to below freeze weather, wheezes a man asleep on a mat in a tunnel in Philly, need not be hail sleet, snow could be an alley, sunny, L.A., or right in the heart of Silicon Valley. The story has to beat suffering. Where there is a void, someone fills it. Perhaps the poet, he, a stand-in philosophically in blue key, the vows dusty and mauve, the man can't move past childhood, trauma after trauma, the blows, the feeling of superfluous, suicide in the bottle of Tylenol, gin, oxycodone, our anti-hero or heroine in the tunneled needle. The drug is not the problem. Something in the weariness, in his bones, was it the father's, can't condone, can't undone, a vortex of smoke, evaporations really, for he had or ever wanted to have, ambition, a job, a car, his wife, suddenly left him, I'm guessing, three, Another version, how it all began, junior high, a birthday present given to him for high, for vice, black tar shimmerings, in heat, for inhalation, fine white powder uncut with sugar, cocaine, which he took for antidote to suffocation, ennui. So easy, the easing into the tide of vein into fantastic shapes, his mind a jungle, warped into spirals. Blood fell from the sky, boiled in the body. Hear your body, well-being, one rush than another. And what follows, not just in a more acute crisis than we knew, is scale and phosphorus. Silence, schizophrenia, wandering street corners. Had he known? Or had it been all along indifference, let's say, to life, to the heart's simplicity, to pain, a withdrawal and nothingness, and now slumped against a wall without proper shoes, no data, having walked porn shops, brown newspapers, trash blown made up of cut out aspiration or desperation and rain drumming on the roofs of cars. Four, and the sense of loss after loss. What do we say, a disease? All those studies in brain science, MRI, darkness, whole oh, cities lit up. The brain's reds and yellows in peril and we stand there in awe, starting to see 
the brain is struggling with changes in bright yellows, greens, blues. And what, excuse me, and who will be found awakening as from a drugged mind, as from dream sequences, we who stand there still, still staring at consequences, staring in our sterile white coats. Thank you.